Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got some exciting news to share with you about the Bifront anti-cheat. So make sure you watch the video to the very end so you don't miss out on any of the key information. And let's get into the video. Now, recently, as some of you might know, Roblox released an anti-cheat on the web version of Roblox and eventually moved that to the Microsoft version of Roblox as well, which pretty much stopped every single executor from working. There was a method of downgrading um, where you could downgrade your Roblox and that will allow you to then use executors. But a lot of people said that's a honey trap. I personally didn't believe it. And as you guys will come to find out that it was all a rumor and none of that was real. Essentially, what has happened is Roblox has decided to remove Bifront completely from the Microsoft Store. So you no longer have to downgrade and you don't have to worry about the anti-cheat banning you like some people were being afraid. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you an executor that is currently working with the latest version of Microsoft Store Roblox. And of course, as soon as the other executors have updated, I will be sure to make a video on those as well. Now, a lot of people were experiencing issues with the Electron Executor. It kept crashing and it just didn't even launch. The key system wasn't working. All of those issues have been fixed. So I will show you how to get the key for the executor along with how to fully set it up. So as always, make sure you watch till the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get into the video. So first things first, if you do have this little application downloaded right here, which is to downgrade your Roblox, a lot of people were experiencing issues with this as well, where they just didn't have the option to even downgrade. Now, good news is you can simply go ahead and delete that off your desktop. You no longer need that. So what you will need is the simple things that you would normally have to do to use any executors, which will be firstly to disable your antivirus. So let's go ahead and go into virus and threat protection and go ahead and turn off your real-time protection at the top. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now, make sure it's off, otherwise the executor will not work. Another key thing I want to mention is that you need to have all of the essential programs downloaded. I will leave a link to them in the description. There will be a specific section in the description for the essential program, so make sure you've got all of those programs downloaded before you download any of the executors, because that could also cause problems when it comes to launching them. They might not work properly. So once you've done that, you can go into the first link in the description, which will take you to my website. From there, go ahead and click on the executor download button, which will take you to this page over here. From there, go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download for the executor. Go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. From there, go ahead and open up the download manager that you've just downloaded. And go ahead and click on next and it will give you a couple of offers. It's completely up to you if you want to take these. So if you don't, you can just simply click on decline. And once you've done that, you will get the final download link. Go ahead and copy that final download link and paste it into your browser. And that will give you the download for the Electron Executor. Now, for some people, it might block the download through your browser, even if you do have your antivirus off. If this does happen, hold down control and press J, which will open up your downloads folder. From there, go ahead and click on keep dangerous file and click keep anyway. It's a completely safe file. You don't have to worry about that at all. It is a false positive, so you don't have to worry about getting any viruses whatsoever. So once you have downloaded Electron, go ahead and right click it and click on extract all. So once you do that, click on extract one more time and that will create a new Electron folder on your desktop as you can see right there. Now at this point, before you go into the new folder that has been created, go back into virus and threat protection go into manage settings one more time, scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions. Click that and click on yes. Go ahead and click on add an exclusion and choose folder. And from there, go ahead and single click your newly created Electron folder and click select. Make sure it has been added into your exclusions. And now you can go back and you can turn on your real time protection if you wish to do that at this point. And now at this point, you can go ahead and load into the Electron executor. So go ahead and double click it. And if you get this alert, go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. And then from there, go ahead and click on yes. And that will start the Electron Executor for you. Now, in my case, I have already generated my key, so it didn't ask me for another key. But I will go ahead and leave a clip now, which will explain how you can generate the key for the Electron Executor. To generate a key for the Electron Executor, go ahead and click on get key, which will open up this link right here. From there, go ahead and click on free access with ads. And from there, go ahead and click on I am interested and then go ahead and click on the first offer that you see. Once you have clicked on that offer, you can go back to the previous tab. You don't have to do anything on this page. You can even close out of this and wait for this bottom link to change. As you can see, it's just changed to I have already completed this offer or I have already completed this step. So when you see that, you simply want to go ahead and click on that. From there, go ahead and click on continue one more time. And that will take you to the next checkpoint and the same thing you have to do again. So go ahead and click on free access with ads. And from there, go ahead and click on I am interested. 
and then if it is this offer if it's the premium you can cross out of that and then go ahead and click on skip if it is the premium and if it is any other offer go ahead and click on i'm interested and do the exact same thing again so go ahead and open that tab and then wait for this link to change right now it says continue with link where it has premium just give it a couple of seconds and it will change to this option right here and once you see that go ahead and click that one more time there will be a total of two checkpoints and once you've done that you will be able to get the key just simply go ahead and click on copy key come in here you can paste the key and then go ahead and click on submit and then that will pretty much launch the executor for you once you have entered the key for the electron executor and it has opened up like this go ahead and close out of it for now make sure it is closed before you go into microsoft store so let's go ahead and load into Microsoft Store. And the reason you want to close Electron before going into Roblox isn't because you will get banned or anything like that. The reason is because if you have Electron open beforehand and you have Auto Attach on, it can sometimes crash your Roblox and you have to open it again. That's pretty much the only reason. So let's go ahead and load into Roblox. And once you have fully loaded in, you can go back to your Electron Executor and go ahead and double click it and open that up. So once it does fully open, you would then have the option to attach so it does ask me please attach and from there go ahead and click on attach and that should say connected just like that now at this point you can load into any roblox game of your choice it doesn't have to be the roblox game that i'm about to go into it can be any so let's go ahead and do that i've also gone ahead and grabbed the script for the infinite yield that we will try out with the executor so let's go ahead and load fully into the game before we execute the script and here we go so we just loaded into the game and let's go ahead and click on execute we have already attached as well and as you can see it is working without any problems and this time i didn't have to downgrade either and there we go so again you will be able to use any script of your choice with any game of your choice and the electron executor is back and working without any issues whatsoever and that's pretty much it for the video guys let me know what you think of roblox removing the hyperion anti-cheat of the microsoft store roblox and with that being said hopefully you did like the video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching